Hey everybody, Shane LaHue with uh, a product that I helped develop me and my dad. Um, this is the Shane's Bates umbrella rig. Uh, the unique thing about this umbrella rig is it's not lead at the head, it's actually aluminum. So this makes this very lightweight. This five arm, I cast it a lot around docks. Um, really shallow cover, almost throwing it kind of like a spinner bait. This bait actually works pretty much throughout the year. Uh, the only time where you're probably not going to throw it is when you're sight fishing, bed fishing, stuff like that. But if you can throw it on your local lakes, this bait is absolutely phenomenal. Like I said, it works from right after they get off the bed all the way into the winter. Right now is a perfect time of year for it. Fall to uh, right before they get on the bed. A lot of fish are chasing bait. This obviously mimics a school of bait fish. Um, I usually just rig them up with some type of swim baits for the nine arm. I usually go to two to three inch swim bait, something small, so you keep it compact when they're eating that little bait. Five arm, you can put any size on it. You know, you can go from three inch swim baits to six inch swim baits if you want to. But again, this is a great bait. It's a good search bait, honestly. Uh, it gets kind of overlooked. I actually just recently won a tournament on this, uh, fishing a local tournament on Lake Norman. Uh, we win a lot of money on this thing out here in the winter uh, months when they have the uh, winter trails. So this is an absolutely phenomenal bait. I absolutely love to throw it. Obviously, we can't use it in the Bassmaster Elite Series, but for the tournaments that you can, uh, it's a great bait. And if you're not familiar with um, umbrella rig fishing, you need to get get to where you are because it's a blast. They absolutely come unglued when they decide to eat this thing. A lot of times I'll use it on my live scope. Uh, I'll fish it over brush piles, things like that around deep docks. And uh, again, I mean, with the smaller one, I roll it around the shallow docks, shallow cover, rocky banks, anywhere you typically you would throw a spinnerbait or something like that. Don't overlook an umbrella rig. So when I'm throwing the Shane's Baits umbrella rigs, <laughs> with the five arm, I typically go with 17 or 20 pound line. Uh, you don't have to have a really big rod. Again, like I said, it's kind of like throwing a spinnerbait. Um, I'll throw maybe a 7.3 medium heavy to a 7.3 heavy, something with somewhat of a softer tip that way you can lean into those fish. Jig head size, a lot of times if I'm fishing those really shallow docks we make 16th ounce jig heads so you put 5 16th ounce jig heads on here and, and again it's going to be very lightweight. Now if you're fishing out deeper I've done that some like fishing ledges or something like that in the summertime. About the heaviest I'll go to is a 3 8 I don't really see a need for uh, going any heavier than that that way I can control the depth of the bait. Uh, with a bigger one with a 9 arm I'll go all the time 16th ounce weights. Uh, that just makes it a little easier to throw. With this, I throw a 25 pound Berkley 100% fluorocarbon. Uh, and the reason for the 25 is if I get hung in anything, honestly, I can straighten out a lot of hooks and I don't have to worry about losing the entire A rig. So that helps a lot. But uh, with rod, I throw a uh, 7.6. Actually, the Hunter Shryock medium heavy flipping stick is absolutely perfect for the uh, Blades of Glory here. And reel, I like to throw a 5 4 to 1 gear ratio reel. I usually use the Abu Garcia Revo Beast. Again, that's so I can control the speed of what depth I'm fishing. Um, and I'll throw this one shallow too around docks and, you know, docks that are less than three feet of water. So, but that, that way I can control the speed with that 5 4 to 1. I can get it out there over brush piles over 30 feet of water, or I can go up to the bank and fish it in two and three feet of water.